Now we've painted on our map points. We need to connect them up. So if we go down to our map points, we can select our first map point. We'll rename this level one. It's got a level index of zero. It's a level. So we give it a name. Island one. Level one. Okay, so we need some sprites for it. So here we've got our level icons. We put that in our unlock sprite. We need the panel text. and the panel canvas okay this next map point if we have a look is corner one and for the minute we don't need anything in there apart from ticking it is corner right our waypoints, so level one is in our up, and this will be T1. So if we go back to corner two, to our right, we want T1. I need to get an new mouse. Level one. We want down to corner one. So from level one, we go to corner one. From corner one, we can go up back to level one or right to T1. This is warp one. Scroll out. This will be corner two. This will be level two. So if we go back to T1, and have a look what waypoints we've got. We've got corner one to the left. Let me lock that, stop that going. So we've got corner one to the left. Corner two to the right and warp one going up there. We don't need to fill anything else out as we're not uh, using any panel images or we're not locking stuff off yet. Warp one. Let me untag that and knock that back up again. We'll go down to T1. We need to tick it to warp point. We don't want it to warp automatically. We want warp point 2, which will be this map point. So that can go on our warp point. And we we'll rename that warp two. 
Yep, that's all updated. Uh, sprites for our locked and unlocked sprites. We've got. Oops, our unlocked sprite going in there. And our locked sprite going in there. So I walk to, I don't know why I've disabled that. Walk to will go to that. Okay, so we've got walk to is our walk point for walk one. We don't have any of those. We've got our unlock sprite. Corner two to our left, we've got T one. And level two will be down. We need to tick that is corner. We don't need anything else into that. Let me just double check I've done the warp point one. Yeah, it's down to T one. Okay, so level two up will go to corner two we are a level so we do island one level two okay so we need some lock sprites and our level panel so our panel canvas and our panel text and our locked and unlocked sprites that's our unlocked and that's our locked now we can come up to walk two I'll lock that back up. It is a warp point. It's going to warp to warp one. And this map point will be level three. This will be corner three. This will be T2. This is level 4. And finally this map point will be level 5. Okay, so we're on walk 2. Level 3 goes up. We are warp point, we're not going to auto warp. Our sprites. We're just put into there. And you can put, sorry, locked, unlocked. We don't need the level panel. So level three, we are a level. This will be I learned to level three. Our down will go to warp two. And then we've got one to our left, which will be corner three. We've got our panel text, our panel canvas, our 
our unlock sprite and our lock sprite. Let me just go back to warp two. Yep, I did put warp one in there. Okay, so we've done level three. But we need to do scene index. So level two scene index will be one. Level three scene index will be two. Corner three, we just tick as a corner. T2, we can leave as is. Level four is a level. I'll have a level index of three. Oops, sorry, I didn't fill me back points in for corner three. So let's lock that. So corner three, we've got level three to the right and T2 down. Yep, I just those ones. So we've got corner that is corner. Don't need anything for that. T2, if I lock that. So Above, we've got corner three. We've got level four to our left and level five down. Level four. So this will be island to level four. It is a level. Our unlocked sprite and our locked sprite our panel text and our panel canvas and finally we need to add T2 to the right Now, if we go on to level five, we've got T2 going up. This will be scene index four. It is a level. It's island to level five. Then we've got our level panel canvas our level panel text, our unlocked unlocked sprites and that should be it for laying out all the map points. So let me just unhook this and just double check. Level 1 goes to corner 1 which is down here. So we've got level 1 drops down to corner 1. It is a level it's not going to be locked, so we don't need a locked sprite. We've marked it as a level, we've given it some text name and we give its level index. Corner one up goes to level one, right goes to T1. T1 goes up to the warp point one. We've got corner two to the right and corner one to the left. We've ticked our warp point as a warp point. It goes down to T1 and we'll warp to warp two. And we've got our locked and unlocked sprites. Corner two goes down to level two and left to T1. Ticked his corner, don't need anything else. Level two, we've got up to corner two. We've got uh, our level windex, which will be level one uh, because of the way the list works. Then we've got his level ticked. 
we've got our icons. Warp point goes up to level three. We don't need anything there, just tick his warp point and link that back to warp one and our locked and unlocked images. Level three goes down to warp two and left to corner three. We've got his level, we've got our canvas, and we've got our sprites. Corner three, right will go to level three, down will go to T2. Tick his corner, don't need anything else. T2, up goes to corner three, left goes to level four, down goes to level five, don't need anything in that. Level 4 has got our level index, is level, and everything is correct there. And it will go right to T2. And finally, level 5, which has a single index of 4, is level. It's got our level icons on our panel text. So that should be how to lay out all your map points. In the next episode, we'll look at creating a the player controller with the old input system and then I'll uh, release an update for the new input system after I've created that episode. Right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.